Boom! Don't get too scared. It's just us. We're doing cheeky flat tour now. Now to make our own at home bar. I feel like my childhood dreams are coming true. We're gonna go on a road trip to the place where Angus Thorne's and Perfect Snodding was filmed. Hey, it's gonna buy me a pony. We took Millie's Mick Bang Monopoly virginities. So today is Thursday and we're gonna go Halloween decoration shopping and we're also gonna go shopping for just some general like autumn decor to sort our house out because we literally live in such a stunning flat which I don't even think I've done a flat tour of yet. So maybe I'm gonna do a cheeky flat tour now of the before we do our decorations and yeah I'm just really excited to make it a bit more ours because obviously this was a furnished place so this ugly furniture is not ours. Quick disclaimer. Okay so this is our living room which obviously you can see the amazing sea view which is part of the reason that we got this and it's so light but the sofa is really ugly. It's really uncomfy as well and then we've got this really ugly coffee table, another chair and then a glass table over here which I don't like. To be fair the only part of this I do like is this plant here is kind of it's kind of pretty. I also read something that was like, if you have glass tables in your house, it kind of represents like instability in a relationship, which I don't like, because obviously I'm living here with my girlfriend. Feng Shui of the room is like, they're easily smashable, like your relationship is easily breakable. So yeah, wanna kind of cover those up. This is the kitchen, which is kind of small. I don't really know if we're gonna do anything to, to the kitchen, to be honest, as it's just, that's fine. It's just small. It's just small. It's just for Nothing cooking. Nothing you can do with it because it's so small. And then this is another room that we are going to be turning into a filming room. Well, it already is our filming room, but obviously, like, this is where I sat and did my get ready with me makeup this morning. Basically going to move. I'll show you the desk that Kate got me whilst I was on my solo trip. She surprised me and, like, did this setup, which is so pretty but I think we're gonna put, move it into that room so that this can be made into a bit more of like obviously this is our bedroom but we just want to make it a bit more a bit more vibey in here it's quite white and empty obviously we've got the beautiful sea view here as well just decided to make this place a bit more homely and also Halloweeny because obviously it's my favorite time of year it's my birthday as well in October, so. My girlfriend secured me the most elite snack before we go shopping. Carp Bakery chocolate croissants. I actually think these are more elite than the little bakery ones. Yeah, they snap. Kate said that she wasn't gonna get it for me because I'd already had breakfast, but she secretly got it for me. Secret spy mission. Yeah, because she's cute like that. Take notes, guys. Okay, guys, so we come to Primark. And this is pretty much the entire Halloween this is the section. Entire, well, I'm disappointed. I've got a whole other month before. Yeah. Kate's pissed off. I'm pissed off. <laughs> it's £5.50 £5. to park There's, the bloody what's car. This? No, what even is that? There's one thing that I think is cute. But also We've like, literally got about so 10 million candles, candles yeah. Uh, and without the hat, it just looks like a normal candle anyway. Yeah, that's true actually. Yeah. I do like all of these organisers. Do you want any of those for your drawers? Yeah, I was thinking for in terms of like makeup stuff. That's a separate mission. This is what we happens. get easily distracted. Oh, I like that as well. You, you know, on the setup we're doing. Yeah. Like at the top. Yeah. Oh no. How much is it? Out. Twelve pound. Get some leaves from the park. <laughs> Wait, look how cute this is. I believe okay, in you. Okay, that is actually really cute. Yeah. You grow, girl. Right, so we think this reef might actually be quite pretty because all the colours are full. It does that just look really ugly? Guys, I don't know. It's twelve pounds. Is it tat or is it decor? Can't tell. Twenty eight days. Twenty eight days. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Fast <laughs> purchase done. Thanks. Cheers. Have a good day. Bye. I like, literally had about three Halloween like, Halloween I don't decorations. Know if it's just sold out, but it's just weird. Oh. You know, Starbucks de uh, matcha latte because I have an addiction to them. Can I get an iced matcha latte, please? Thank you. I've secured the matcha and now I'm Starbucks happy again. Girly! <laughs> TK Maxx. Oh, there's Halloween stuff. Now that is cool. Like no. Cool. Is that ugly actually? Is that watercolours? No, on the camera it looks really ugly. We don't need that cushion, do we? That's really ugly. No. What's it about this? We don't need this, but I'm just gonna look at it. We don't need it. Okay, that looks like you. <laughs> this is like this thing, but a Halloween themed one. How much is it? We could put our pumpkin on there. Eight pounds? 
Do we need that, I or should feel we like get we're one? Smash it. And should we get one? We can have year Bounty. round. Yeah. Oh, I used to get obsessed with these straws. You drink your drink, and then it goes all around. Eight-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. These colours go really well together. A nice combo. Yeah. Yep. Two favourite colours. I don't agree with our current theme in there, but I think we're going towards to this cover, theme. Yeah. These are look really nice, and they're so soft. Really yeah. soft. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. In the basket. In the basket. Wait, should I do a little haul of what we've got so far? Yeah. Okay, so I've also picked up this, which I think is really cool. We've wrapped the lights around it. Cool, yeah. like that. And then Kate found this sign, which is very this nice. Is gonna be we are just a DLs. And everything's pink. <laughs> right, that's going straight in my basket. <laughs> okay. We spent so much money. <laughs> okay. Have a guess. How much do you think that's going to be? What, me? Yeah. Quick maths. <laughs> Oh my god, that's gonna be quite light, it's gonna be well over 100. Mm, I think it's 80, 85. Just for the two trays, it's 50. Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably 100. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, Released. <laughs> a lot more promising for Halloween decorations. That's happy. Yeah, ours is way prettier that we got from TK Maxx. Oh, these little ghosts are actually really cute, but I feel like they would break easily. Do you want to get these and like these, like a mixture, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna get one of these because we can add one of our candles, which we have about 10 million of, I'm gonna paint into them. the back of it. What are you gonna paint the ghosts? What color? They're meant to be that color though. Details, Melly, details. What? Watch out, there's a spider. <laughs> this would be cute though. Yeah, but I was in the Oh, that's horrible. And <laughs> <laughs> some batteries there. Should we just grab them? I, 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 I need to. Just one, just one. one. That is all of our Halloween stuff secured. 2023. We just arrived at the pumpkin patch because we're going to be picking some pumpkin. Well, now I need to talk in a normal voice. <laughs> Do you ever get when you speak to your partner in a baby voice and then it accidentally it happens all the time? I did it to my mum earlier and I was like, that's weird. Why are you speaking to your mum like you speak to me? <laughs> well, we'll show you guys the pumpkin patch. It's really cute. It's, it's ne so It's cute. near London. It's called Darson's Farm. Is it too much to wear these or are we going to look Ooh, spooky? spooky. <laughs> are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I have never done this before. We've made it to the pumpkin patch. Look how cute Kate looks. She's so cute. Um, I feel like my childhood dreams are coming true. I know, I've never done a date like this. Neither have I. It's quite cheap as well. It's only like six pounds. Six pounds between us. Cute date. Deal. It's actually really warm for October as well. Look at me being so British talking about the weather. Look at this one, Millie. Let's see. That's oh. massive. Oh, God. That's bigger you than your it. head. That's the point. <laughs> That's a cute photo, actually. I'm going to get a photo. Go to the ground for our Halloween theme photos. Okay, so this is the pumpkin that I chose here, this little one. And then this ridiculously sized, ginormous one is the one that Kate chose. <laughs> she just tried to put the biggest one in the entire the patch. One. I won. I won. I won. I won pumpkin patch. You can't win pumpkin Did patch. <laughs> This is going to be such cute memories to look back on. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we're at so far. Kate has obviously got these two that she thinks are really cute, but to be fair, I actually think they're cute. But I just feel like they're going to shrivel up. And then we got those two slightly bigger ones. And then it started raining, so we've come in the inside bit, but it's giving wholesome vibes. Those pink ones. You want a pink one? Yes. There's pink ones right here. Nice ones. I don't like these ones. Kate, don't get moody. We finally decided what pumpkins we wanted after literally spending like how long have we been here? Five hours. No. Have we actually? About four hours. Our appointment was half twelve. We've literally been here for four hours picking up pumpkins and deciding which one we want. We'll show you guys in a bit which ones we picked. Kate is painting the white one. Giving it chicken pox. <laughs> what are you painting on your pumpkin? Little pumpkins. Baby pumpkins. Baby pumpkins. And then I've got this little baby orange pumpkin, which kind of actually looks like an orange. It's so small. And then I'm gonna paint little ghosts on it. We'll come back and reveal what the pumpkins look like when we finished. So this is what our finished pumpkins look like. I did little ghosts on mine, which are really really cute. And then Kate did like a scary pumpkins on hers. Let me know whose you prefer. I think mine's better. 
And look at those ghosts, they're so cute. This date that she took us like 40 minutes, like it was a really quick date, but it was so cute. I feel like it's just very inner child healing vibes, just sitting and painting. So after a long hard day of pumpkin patch picking, we've got some dominoes. And obviously we've laid a towel down to not spill it all over the bed. That sounds weird, but it's whenever I eat, I wipe. Whatever yeah, Kate it. just wipes onto the bed so we have to lay a towel down for her. Yeah. I'm so excited. We're gonna watch Netflix's new series called Everything Now and eat all of this. So goodbye! Good night! <laughs> so we just got to Sophology. I really like these green. I think I'd get a bit sick of it though. Oh, I that's quite cool. Blues, the blue guys. with like the plant wall. I kind of want to get some fake. Um, plants. Testing out some sofas. Oh, that's not actually very comfy. No? No, I don't like that one. We didn't sink into it like no, the last one. That was really uncomfortable <laughs> and awkward. Should I try this one over here? Yeah. I'm literally getting tempted just to buy a sofa instead of a cover. No. This is much comfier. Like we got 30 pounds worth of McDonald's just to peel all the stickers off. And to eat the McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. So McDonald's are doing that Monopoly game, so we're going to see what we won. Oh, it says what you've won on there. Have you never played McDonald's Monopoly? No. What? No, We're taking it. your McDonald's Monopoly virginity right now. No one has an entire like Big Mac meal with one little ketchup. Give me six. And I'm gonna try the McCrispy. Person, we haven't tried yet, so hopefully it's really nice. <gasps> the Holy Grail. Let me check if these are hot. Because I don't like them if they're not hot. How much sauce we have oh. here? That's a good check. I didn't know I was dating the person that goes to McDonald's and gets a bottle of water <laughs> with their meal. Criminal. <laughs> and I'm veggie, so I've got the McPlant. Kate will remove everything. <laughs> like, yeah. all of the fillings she removes. Mm. I've got barbecue sauce on my crotch. <laughs> Isn't it so period? I'm wearing beige. Oh, and that's and bad. And you are actually on your period. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, actually it does. That that's it. All we run. Bow Street and Regent Street. Pick a fight with McDonald's. Why do you put an odd amount in a share box? Yeah, literally nine. We had to half the last one because neither of us would give it up. It's not <laughs> like, oh, I love you, sweetheart. You can have it. It's to be fucking honest, splitting I it. I thought you were seriously saying that to me then and I was like, what? That was weird. Are you talking to me <laughs> like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll you win if you get the two browns. You just get a meal. Yeah, but a meal's still good. Quite a Ferrari though, is it? No. Do you know what? Yeah. We don't get any on here. Guys, let me just explain why I got a water from McDonald's. <laughs> because they're, all the milkshake machines were broken, like they always are. This is like worse than hiding your card yeah. details online. Literally. A milkshake! Okay. We can't even get a milkshake because the machine's well, not broken. Today, but another day. Electric car. We don't just get, yeah. <laughs> you got an electric car. So that's what £30 of McDonald's got you. Yep, two milkshakes. Actually two milkshakes and a McFlurry. And a McFlurry, so winning. Romance. Yep, and now we have refueled. We're going back out because we've discovered that Don Elm has she has everything, everything. We needed. Literally, we've come to like a, a business park, industrial estate, a, industrial estate business after being park, in yeah. town walking around all day. Two separate set, uh, sets of people recognized Millie. And the first girl that came up to me he said that the body positive content I do, uh, like women having body hair and it being normal, like really has made her feel empowered as a hairy woman and. Well, empowered as a woman. It yeah, gave me so butterflies. It, it genuinely, you're like, do you fancy it? Relax. No. Uh, <laughs> well, the reason why I started social media to help yeah. other women feel confident in their normal natural selves because they should. So I got a bit embarrassed about doing body hair content because some people were really mean to me from the area that I live. And now, I don't know, like those kind of interactions are like, that is why I started doing it to help young women who were in the same position as me, just feeling like really insecure in themselves when they shouldn't be. Uh, and yeah. it just reminds you like why you do it. Anyways, we're gonna take you guys around on Elm now. Oh my God, there's literally everything we want in here. It's cream, I guess. Is it? Yeah, it's cream. It white? It's cream. Is it yes? I think so, because look, Does that's that not look cheap. Um, that's the cover. What is it covering underneath? Because it's is fully covering that colour, but that is not. Yeah. What are the other options? That's what you want. I don't think you should get a grey cover for a grey couch. No, it's not grey. The couch. It's blue. It's blue, yeah. But our carpets are blue. Grey. <laughs> that would pop. This is literally everything we got, which is a lot. We bought a lot more than I realised. Yeah, we've collected it throughout the day. We might have to be returning some stuff. 
This is literally going to be a £500 haul. It's now Friday. We basically decided we hate the sofa cover that we bought. We were literally shopping for eight hours yesterday and we put on the grey, so we decided to get the grey sofa cover for this sofa. We've immediately taken it off because it was so ugly and I think we were just delirious with tiredness. So yeah, we were literally up at like 10 o'clock at night putting on the sofa cover. Turned it this morning and we've now got two other sofa covers um so we've got this creamy colored one which i think will be a lot nicer and then we've also got the fluffy white one that we're going to try as well and then we also got loads of halloween decorations as well if you guys want to see a halloween haul of everything i got then you can head to my tiktok here we're going to try on the sofa cover now and yeah now we're going to try the sofa cover on and see what it looks like <gasps> time to sort this ugly sofa out i do you throw that at you right <laughs> We've basically got two options. I'm turning it if it's ugly. Wait, stop throwing them around so No! I don't know if it's finished, to be honest. Yeah. Hell no, man. What the oh fuck? Oh my god, these ca this couch is pissing me off. I'm going to try the white fluffy one. So, uh, that's okay, guys. We're going to try the other colour. Where's the other bit? They just didn't give us the other oh, bit. Oh, that's shrinking. That's taking the piss. It's so jarring. This is actually, we bought this incomplete, even though, so you, it's, it's a returned item. It's, I feel like someone's used it. They kept half a bit and returned it for the full cost. It wow. smells funny, doesn't it? This size just doesn't fit. I do really like the colour though, this feels cosy, you know? I like the colour. Yeah, this feels nice. It's nice. Please, guys, I said at the very start of our hunt that we need this white fluffy one. But then Kate said, no, this will look really ugly. And this is definitely the nicest colour to look great. with this. Get me in! I'm the sofa. Oh, yeah! That's coming together nice. That is pretty though, doesn't it? Okay, so it's now the evening and it's dinner time and we're cooking up some... We're basically having a very healthy dinner of salad and then I'm going to have salmon. What are you having in your salad? Steak. Veggie steak. Veggie steak, darling. We basically had a horrible time trying to sort out the sofa. All I want to do is just pour a glass of Prosecco. We're basically going to have some Prosecco and then go out to our friend Lily's birthday because we can't do this anymore. We haven't decorated any other house or we've done is spent 500 pounds. Happy Friday! So it's Saturday today and we went out to our friend's birthday party last night and oh my god, drunk a little bit too much. But we are now, I've just got ready, I've just got literally the tiniest bit of makeup on because I'm feeling quite hungover and I don't really want to do full face makeup. It makes me feel a bit sticky when I've woken up feeling like this. We're going to go on a road trip to the place where Angus Thorne's and Perfect Snogging was filmed, which is Eastbourne, if you didn't know. We're basically going there because obviously the sofa cover we got didn't fit, so we're going to another Dunelm in Eastbourne that should have the three-seater in the colour of the sofa cover that we want. So we're going to go collect that today and then we are going to just... It's not Eastbourne because I've never been before and it's we spend so much time inside usually during the winter so it'd be nice to spend like a day out it's really sunny outside. Come with us to Eastbourne. Oh, I'm also just going to put some of this energy mist on. It's from Neon and it's an energy mist and apparently the... It's not like a setting spray or anything but apparently the smell gives you energy for the day so I'm going to be needing that today. Eastbourne. Eastbourne! And obviously we've got our homemade sandwiches. Kate made um, breakfast sandwiches this morning because I asked her to. And they've got sausage, egg, and mine's got bacon in as well. Obviously bacon. Kate's got the veggie version. But yeah, we're just gonna... Bacon is flat, so <laughs> mine just come back. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna chill on the beach, have our sandwiches, and we also went to Dunelm and we bought more stuff because more we stuff. are addicted. So I'll show you guys what we got I do when actually we get in. Have an addiction. We do have an addiction. <laughs> I love. I bloody love Dunelm. <laughs> it is pretty here. It is pretty. Much quieter than Brighton. Happy Sunday, bitches! So we have finally sorted out our sofa. We've got the right size sofa cover and now we put it on and I'm going to do a reveal for you guys because it looks so much cosier than before. This is the before and this is the after. Oh, look how cosy this is. Like this is going to be a cute setup. We're going to have our like disco sign at the top there and the pink rod, look, the pink, the pink fluffy rod and that throw literally matched so well. Much more cosy already. Obviously this is only the beginning but 
Yeah, excited! That was step one. Yeah, on step one complete. Now that we've done the sofa, we can tick off the tasks. Oh, yeah. Basically, me and Kate used to be really unproductive, and now we've got this little whiteboard. We get so much more done in yeah. a day. Okay, so I did a time lapse and videoed us making the sofa beautiful. First task complete. Okay, now we're making a bar. Oh cheers. yeah! So we're now going to create our very own at-home bar. We do like to drink at a party, so obviously we have to have a bar in our flat. All of the things we're doing to our home are we're doing them on the cheap. Like so, this sofa cover was fifty-five, but when I say on the cheap, in terms of renovating and redecorating yeah. the house, because obviously if we were going to buy a new sofa, that would be like what? Well, cheapest. We, looked, we looked around sofas. We yeah. literally went into so the cheap. Sofa the, stores. Yeah, the cheapest we could see a sofa for was like six hundred pounds. Yeah. So obviously this is uh, like on the cheap for renovating our house and making it look more pen. So we are gonna basically make this we area into a bar. We have cleared this area and we have moved it over here, the little stand. So this is gonna be our bar area. Now to make our own at home bar. Me and Kate were chatting and we were saying that both of us literally when we were younger used to like draw um, like designs of what art we wanted our bedrooms to be like. But obviously didn't have the money to buy the stuff to make our bedrooms like that. And now we're literally going to like add everything we would have wanted. We've got adult money, so we can do adult money. money. <laughs> First addition we have is this little dog plate that we out got this, which I thought was a cactus, it but is. it is, well, it's a coffee cup holder. I'm also going to add this little plant, which is in my favourite colour. Yeah. yeah. Hey! This is the mega bad, the bar side. <gasps> this is sick. Wow. <laughs> Perfect! Look at Pinterest. This literally sorted us out, to be honest. She's excited. Okay, these are our four star martini cups. Gold rims to match all the gold on the rest of the yep. bar. So okay, so Kate also got me these flowers that last forever because she always buys me flowers but I get sad when they die. So we've got these fake ones. We also bought this from Dunelm. I've wanted one of these literally forever. Usually these are like what, 75? Yeah, like 70. Yeah, and in Dunelm we got this from 15. How pretty is that? Are we going to transfer the flowers? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's all the colours are going to come together. I've been looking for one of these for ages. I've been looking for a batty for ages. <laughs> so oh we're God. basically going to put these flowers into this really pretty vase. Oh yeah, you yeah. had the vision. Please. I had the vision. I've literally always wanted one of these, but it's really inappropriate to have in a family home. Ah! Which way around are you going to put it? Bum first? Bum. Bum, Bum I'm showing. Yeah. This is Good. Right, so what are we putting any alcohol on here? Yeah, we can put some alcohol on there. Okay, so we've got some gin, passion fruit, and vanilla gin liqueur. Gin. We've got raspberry and rhubarb gin, cute. And also some more gin. This one was in front of my parents, actually. Cute. This is good, like, good, like, in front of them. And we've obviously just got some dirty smile off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally making our house I'm going to show you guys what this looks like when we've added all the lights at night time. But that is our at home bar nearly complete. We've got so much more decorations to do to our house. Definitely give us a follow if you want to see what else we're going to do. Make our house our home. This is the complete bar in all its glory. It is so pretty. It's come out better than I thought it would. And then obviously all of our drinks on the bottom. And now I'm going to add our TV back here because obviously it was on this stand. But we're using this stand as the bar, which looks pen. Move the TV here, but obviously this table is really ugly. This is just one of the tables that came with our flat. So we're thinking we're going to cover it in a purple fluffy throw, and then it will look pretty. Right, so we've got this purple rug, which was £25 from TK Maxx, and it's so fluffy. So I reckon that way... Oh. In the case, the adult mask, she's in charge of the wiring. Pretty. That's pretty. That's definitely nice there. I like that. Yeah. Cool. That looks so much nicer than all the wires that we had before anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's the best fit. Done! Ta -da! I just stood there whilst Kate did everything, but done! <laughs> we also have this bamboo tree, which is fake, but it's really cute and pretty. So, I don't know where to put it. She did the other way around. That looks quite nice. We have these feather duster type things, which go with all the colours in the room now. And this pot, which isn't as pretty as the other pot. And this was £20. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what the living room's looking like so far. We're basically gonna put that disco sign up on the wall. Yeah, my favorite bit is definitely the bar, but we've also added this little basket that's got all of our candles in, and then that little bamboo tree in the corner, and then those little, don't even know what they're called, they look like feather dusters, but yeah, with the rug. I think it is all coming together. It's not perfect yet, but we're getting there. It's definitely a lot better than where we started. Okay, obviously we had to take a break from our renovations to get some brunch, so we were starving. Kate nice. was getting moody. I was just lose my personality. <laughs> but this looks so good. And I also got a matcha latte because I'm addicted. You know, it's so pretty. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Sunny. It's because you want scratch this, it's getting cheeky. Hey, it's gonna buy me a pony. I never said that. <laughs> she said she don't buy me a whole yard, actually. That is what I did say, actually. <laughs> and then I can have one. <laughs> You're beautiful. We're driving from Brighton to London to the doctors and get some jabs because we're going traveling! Woo! So in 2024, we're basically going to travel around Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos. I think we're also going to do Australia and Bali. I'm literally so excited. We're going to go for brunch first. I went for a solo brunch date and I'm going to show you Kate the brunch spot that I found. Let's go have some brunch. How peng does this brunch look? And then I got a matcha latte, and obviously Kate got Oreo milkshake. I'm on my period, leave me alone. <laughs> and then the veggie breakfast. We've just had the most elite lunch ever. Hi. But obviously we're now running late for our jam appointment, so let's stir it, stir it. We've just had our injections and now we're going on a little walk in Richmond to... The injections were horrible! It's made us feel a bit like dizzy and not very well to be honest. I think especially Kate because she had to have two injections, one in each arm. Now we're going to walk to my family house and have a wholesome little dog walk with my Labrador. So maybe I'll show you guys him because he's so cute. His he's name's so Rolo. Cute. 